then this fully charged capacitor is discharged through a 10 milli Henry inductor. That is inductance is 10 milli Henry. Now find the maximum current which will flow in the circuit. So in this case, the initial amount of charge Q naught is equal to C into V, which is 1 microfarad, that is 10 raised to power minus 6 into 40 volt. So 4 into 10 raised to power minus 5 coulomb. Now I naught is equal to Q naught into omega and omega is equal to 1 upon root LC which is 1 upon root L is equal to 10 milli and 10 into 10 is to power minus 3 into C where C is 10 is to power minus 6 10 to power minus 6 into 10 is to power minus 3 10 is to power minus 9 into 10 10 is to power minus 8 which is under root so this comes out to 10 is to power 4 per second so I naught is equal to 4 into 10 raised to power minus 5 coulomb into omega which is 10 raised to power 4 and this is equal to 0 0.4 ampere. We have one other method to find out the amplitude of current or maximum value of current because energy stored will remain constant with time. So initially energy is stored in the capacitor which is half CV square and this must be equal to half Li0 square where I0 is maximum value of current. Half will cancel out. This implies I0 is equal to root C by L into V where this V is maximum voltage across the capacitor. Now C is equal to 1 microfarad that is 10 raised to power minus 6 upon 10 raised to power minus 2. So 10 raised to power minus 6 upon L which is 10 into 10 raised to power minus 3 into 40 and this is equal to 10 raised to power minus 2 into 40 ampere which is 0 0.4 ampere. So either we can proceed in the first manner or the alternative method is this one. An LC circuit consists of 20 milli Henry inductor that is inductance is 20 milli Henry and the capacitance of the capacitor is 0 0.5 microfarad and the maximum instantaneous current in the circuit is 0 0.1 ampere maximum instantaneous current I naught is 0 0.1 ampere then find the greatest potential difference across the capacitor that is maximum potential difference across the capacitor again we can use this formula because energy stored half C V naught C square is equal to half L I naught square and in this case we have to find out the value of V naught C so this implies V naught C is equal to root L upon C into I naught. By putting this value, L is equal to 20 milli and 20 into 10 is to power minus 3. C is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 is to power minus 6 into I naught, which is 0 0.1 ampere. So here this comes out to 0 0.5 we have 4 and then 4 into 10 raised to power 4 which is in under root so this is 2 into 10 raised to power 2 into 0 0.1 which is 20 volt so the maximum the greatest potential difference across the capacitor is 20 volt
एंड एलसी सर्किट ओसिलेट्स एट 120 